Earlier this month, there was a video of a man circulating who was a Satanist, but had decided to give his life to Jesus. Immediately when I saw the video, the first thing that downloaded into my spirit was deception and to pray against the deception operating in him. I decided against making a video because I already know how a lot of people get and saying that Christians castigate people and chase them out of the faith. So I just decided to leave a comment on the original video I saw saying that we should all pray for him against the spirit of deception. Lo and behold, now more videos circulating where he's going into detail about his experience with Jesus. Now I want people to understand that there is a true biblical Messiah, Jesus Christ, who very much so exists. And there is a false spirit, a demon masquerading himself as Jesus Christ. And if you're not firmly rooted in faith, you're not going to know the difference between the two. And so now the man who was greatly heralded by many a Christian believer on this website has come out saying the very doctrine which the Jesus he encountered taught him. And that doctrine closely mimics New Age, the idea that we were all God. We all started off as God and we're all going to become one God consciousness. That's not scriptural. And so this experience, I'm not gonna lie, has taught me that a lot of the people who are on here as Christian influencers who are teaching others are deceived themselves. And that's very concerning. I'm going to ask you all again, please go to Jesus and ask for discernment. Do not lean on man. Do not lean on other people. Do not lean on me to get the truth of Jesus Christ. You can get it directly from him and test every spirit. There's a reason why scripture tells us to do this. Y'all, please, I've said it before, we are in end times. And if you're getting deceived by these little things, what's going to happen when God sends the strong delusion? I don't say this to scare anybody, but I'm hoping it's a wake up call to you all. And throw away the idea of just because you disagree with what the masses say that you're not a standard Christian. Honestly, truth be told, the world, including the Christians who are of the world, are going to hate a lot of what we say when it aligns with God's will. Please keep that man in prayer and keep everyone else who is under deceptive doctrine and deceptive demons in your prayers. Be blessed.